So right here, we're just going to kind of demonstrate again on the, uh, this is a new SCX-10 deadbolt, what a proper gear mesh should look like. Uh, this one has the 32 pitch gears. I have switched out the pinion gear on this model. Um, so that's not the stock pinion, but it is the stock spur gear. And what, what I want you to see here is, as he actually moves that spur back and forth, there's a little bit of play to where he can move it and it doesn't move that pinion gear but just the littlest bit right there gotcha so almost at the bottom but allowing some space and again if you do that slight movement of the spur you can see that there's just a a very small bit of free space now another thing is is you see the outer face of the pinion is pretty much flush with the outer side of that spur you want as much face of that pinion on that spur as possible to avoid it stripping out and it's a pretty beefy spur gear that comes on that deadbolt so you got quite a good bit of room so also notice you don't hear it completely silent and very little resistance is being used to turn that I'm, I'm guessing right so you also want that too if you're having to work at turning that spur gear, you're, you're binding and you don't want binding because it's just extra load on your motor. So that's a proper mesh. Hopefully that'll help you guys out.